this video is designed to talk about Microsoft Sway as a tool for the classroom and to give a bit more of an in-depth explanation of what it does and more importantly how it works. Just as an introduction, Microsoft Sway is largely a presentation material similar to that of PowerPoint or Prezi. The difference is that it's all online and it makes it quite an intuitive platform to throw together different resources. If you look at my dashboard here, you'll see that I've created a whole bunch of different sways and I use them for different units in my teaching from years 11, 12 and year 9. Uh, in each case, whenever you click one of these, it uh, determines a completely different unit and it covers a bunch of different lessons. And you can see some examples of that uh, in some of my other videos and explanations. Uh, in this case, um, I'm going to show you how to create your own Sway and just show you how the system works and how it's, it's quite innovative in the way that it uh, comes together. Alright, so while it's loading, one of the reasons I find this a useful tool is because when I'm teaching, I often find myself thinking, okay, what do I want my students to see? What do I want them to read? What do I want them to uh, work with? And it just enables me to put everything together in one spot. Okay, so in this case, I'm going to create a unit and I'm going to call it poetry in this case. You know, I could have picked anything, but uh, why not? Now, what, one of the things you'll notice straight is uh, you've got two working spaces. Okay, you've got over here your storyline and your storyboard where you add content. And then on the far side, you've got what that actually looks like. And I'll show you some of the things we can uh, play with a little bit later on. So, um, I've put down this uh, section about poetry and you know I might so notice if I want to add something new I just click on this insert content button and I've got all of these different options down the side okay I could add text I could add another heading um, I could add an image or a video audio I can embed something um, so we'll try and unpack some of those different features in this case I'm just going to put in some uh, text and I might just uh, say poetry is a way of expressing ideas in a creative format Okay, so this might be you know, one of my one-liners that I'm going to sell with the kids straight away. And if I come across, you can see it's slowly putting it together for me. So in this case, one of the benefits of Sway is that it does all of my formatting for me to try and make it look interesting. And what that means is that it's adaptable to any device. So I could look at it on a phone or I could look at it on an iPad and everything would still be perfectly arranged. The downside of this is I don't have a huge amount of uh, power over where things go, so I can't kind of grab this and drag it um, or anything like that. So I do have some limitations uh, in customising the way that it looks, but there's also some great ways that I can mix things up fairly quickly. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, just put together a few images uh, relatively quickly just to show you how things work. Um, so one of the things I'm going to do uh, to start with here is uh, I'm going to put in an image. now. I could upload an image, but in this case, let's say I can't find one. So I'm going to click on this, okay, and I'm going to add an image. And you'll notice that straight away it comes across here to do some searching. Now, it's already looked at, you know, because I've said poetry up here, it's already got some ideas around, you know, like a word cloud or a picture of John Donne, who's a famous poet or uh, anything along that line. Um, another interesting thing that you can notice is... Uh, up the top here and suggested these are some of the places I can look so at the moment it's kind of looking holistically through a number of different areas but I could look on uh, Picket or Bing images or Flickr or YouTube or anything along that line there's also a button that I can press when I do searches up here so if I in this case I'm looking for poetry so I can type that in and I can actually refine whether to give me uh, images that are Creative Commons license so again if I was looking to publish anything it's good to know that everything that's come up is essentially fine to use and I'm not going to have any problems so look in this case oh you know I quite like the look of that so I'm going to drag this over here and uh, put it on my sway and you'll notice that straight away it's uploaded itself here now some of the options that I've got I might choose that I want it to be bigger so I've got three different size options here so I can make it a little bit bigger um, or I could put it on its biggest size in each case you can see that it's uh, changing its setup um, I'm just going to add a couple of other bits and pieces now. So I'll add some new uh, text. So maybe, for example, I'll say, well, uh, you know, that was just my introduction. Now here's what we're going to do in lesson one, which is happening on Monday. Okay, so I've added a new heading. Um, and now maybe I'll add some new text. And I'll say, you know, what does poetry mean to you? And that, that might be a uh, discussion question. Okay, so I've put the text there. Um, 
and at the moment it's the same size as the text up here but let's say I want it to be a little bit different uh, I've got two options to emphasize the size so I can click on this and, and say emphasize and you'll notice in this case now it's bigger and it's got this little colored strip next to it to show that it's a, a different form of text the font has changed as well and I can click on here and I can also emphasize the U you know, so I can make things bold um, you know I can make things accented um, I could put some things down here about bullet points you know so I might say uh, you know perhaps it's a form of expression perhaps it's a form of art perhaps you're a year nine student and you think it's boring perhaps uh, you think it's fun um, you know so I, just as easily I could put numbers there um, I could add links um, so if you play around you can see that there's just some basic ways that I can add information and one thing I'll also do that I didn't do before is uh, just at the top here where there's uh, poetry I can also grab a uh, you know I could grab an image to kind of be almost like a like a title screen um, type of thing you know almost to, to give it a bit of style so um, in this case if I grab uh, this isn't going to be the best contrast but if I grab this one here you will notice what it'll do is it'll automatically um, put that up the top okay so you can see now that I've got this kind of introduction and as I scroll down some of my other tent starts to come together now that I've got a few bits and pieces on the page, I can show you some of the greater features of how you can actually get this to work. Um, so at the moment I've got it set to scroll down and that will just continuously scroll down the more I start to add things, you know, videos, embeds, anything along that line. I'm just going to hit this close button to give myself a bit more space on the side here. Um, but now I can start to change the look and I really want to show you some of the different styles of the piece that you can use. So first and foremost, most, if I go to layout, there's three main functions I can use at the moment, as I said, it's scrolling down, but I could uh, click on this so it actually scrolls horizontally, you know, so I can actually make it present itself in a very different way. So if I click over here, um, you'll notice that I can have it scroll across instead of down, and you know, for some styles that could work. Uh, I can also set it up uh, here to be optimized for a presentation. And in this case, again, if I go, oops, if I go back to preview, um, you'll notice that I can't scroll anymore. I'm uh, rigorously spinning the wheel, but I do now have these tools down here so I can actually click back and forwards through different sections and I could run it like a traditional PowerPoint. Okay, so I've got three different options in terms of how I want it to be. Um, I can also change the designs. So if I click up here, there's some things I can play with. You know, if I want different colors, if I click on this, um, you know, it'll change the color scheme for me. So if I come down here, um, you notice where it used to be green, now it's pink, so very exciting. Um, but it just gives me some different um, forms of, of how this works. Um, now, what's significant about this is, uh, is this button here called Remix. And I love this button because obviously you know, I can play around with the different design layouts and different colours. Uh, but who's got the time? So a great tool that I can use is this one here, Remix. And if I click Remix, what it's going to do is it's just going to completely shake up the whole thing. So at the moment, what it's done is it's now changed it to a horizontal style. It's put on a different font scheme and a different color scheme, different titles, different everything. You know, but I might like some parts of it, but not like some other parts. So now I'm going to click Remix again. Just see what I get. You know, it's a great way of sometimes you make something and you just want it to be a little bit different. So here it's remixed it again. It's put the title in a different way. So I can actually read the title better this time. And as I come down, it's put this funky background behind it. And all of my text now sits on top of it using this kind of whitewash uh, background. So again, really interesting tool. And it's, it's fascinating to see how, um, you know, this gives a bit of insight into, um, you know, just how you can mix up the style. And the thing is, if I don't like these, if, if I actually decided I wanted my first design, uh, I can go back and uh, go back again and it'll take me to where I was at the beginning so I can go back and forth between these different forms um, of expression and, and different forms of creativity so it's really good for that reason look this is just a really basic guide on how to use it and there's certainly some more advanced features that I can talk you through including embedding YouTube videos and embedding things like forms um, but I just thought I'd show you really quickly how to set up a couple of basic features and I encourage you to have a bit of a play with the program to really see what it's all about Thank you.